Puffy coats, hot chocolate, and a roaring fire. There are a lot of great things you can expect with Old Man Winter's arrival. One bad thing, flat tires. On cool, crisp mornings, you might hop into your car and notice that the tire pressure light is on. The good news is you probably don't have a nail in your tire. For every 10 degree drop in temperature, tire pressure drops by one to two pounds per square inch, or PSI. Why does this happen? Well, air particles are constantly moving around in our atmosphere. When the air is warm, those particles are moving quickly. When it's cold, they move more slowly. Air pressure is the energy that's released when these particles collide. When it's warm, those fast-moving particles collide more often, creating higher pressure. But when it's cold, the slow-moving particles collide less often, meaning the pressure drops. This change is what's happening inside of your tire. When tire pressure is low, more of the tire actually touches the road, creating greater friction. This causes those parts of the tire to heat up, which can create premature wear and tear. According to DMV.org, there are some things you can do to prepare for this pressure drop. You can overinflate your tires by 2 to 3 PSI or use nitrogen gas, which actually isn't affected by the temperature drop. The pressure dropping in the cold is normal, but you should still double check your tire pressure if the light goes on. If you haven't checked your pressure in some time, you can't be sure if it's the cold or a nail that's causing the drop. On average, tires lose about 1 PSI per month, even when the temperature stays constant. Experts recommend you check your pressure monthly, preferably in the morning.